coming to you all with a haul today and I am super excited about showing you all the books that you saw beforehand and if you would like to know more about what I recently purchased, stay tuned. So as you saw in the intro, I have a box full of books and you're probably wondering, Christina, where did you get all those books from? Well, I will tell you where I got those books from. Basically in my town, we are synonymous for flea markets. Me and my family recently went to a flea market and, and this used to be a flea market that I used to go to when I was younger, but I haven't been there for like a really, really long time. Just recently or in the last couple of years. So I went to the flea market. I didn't really find anything except like a pair of shoes that I really, really liked. And right when we were getting ready to leave, I found heaven on earth. So this lady at the booth has about maybe 1,000 books. I was like, well, how much do these books cost? And she's like, every single book in her booth is a dollar. And I almost flipped. I'm like, a dollar? Yeah, so I went a little bit crazy and I got, oh, box of books. So yeah, and the lady was really sweet and she was like, I've never seen anyone come to my booth that has been this excited about like buying my books. And I'm like, um, yeah, I'm kind of a bookworm. Okay, so I'm just pulling the books out of the box by random, not in any particular order. But the first book that caught my eye was um, Heart of the Matter by Emily Giffen. I just like love the cover. I think it's really cute. You can see the little um, traditional keys and like it's purple and I really like um, just like the cover of it. And I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover because the cover can be really nice but the inside is not. But regardless this book caught my eye and I've never read anything from this author. It says that she wrote um, a famous book called Something Borrowed which was on the New York's best time list so I'm assuming she's pretty good. The next book that I bought was Her Mother's Shadow which is by Deanne Chamberlain and this book has three different perspectives and if you saw my review on the plane song then you know that I like books like this where you have uh, more than one main character so this uh, drew attention to my eye so this book that I'm about to show you hasn't really been recommended to me but I've heard it before um, I don't know if it was in good context or bad context but I really wanted to know for myself and it is the Jane Austen's book club by Karen Joy Fowler it's been recommended by Alice Sebold and I believe she was the author that wrote who wrote Lovely Bones and if you haven't read the book, I'm pretty sure that you've at least seen the movie. And um, she wrote a really good recommendation for this book on the back. So hopefully it's a good book. The next book that I have is Someone to Belong to by Melody Carlson. And this author's name sounds really familiar. And this is a romance novel. Another book that I have that I'm really excited to have in my possession is The Ghost Children by Eve Bunting. And we read this book in middle school. I think it was seventh grade. And I remember doing a book report on it and me being freaked out by this book. This is kind of like a mystery suspense type of book, but it's made for like kids and preteens. It kind of brought me back to being in middle school. So I was like, it's only a dollar. Might as well just add it to my bookshelf. So the next book that I have is Bleak House by Charles Dickinson. Another classical book that I decided to pick up is Oliver Twist by Charles Dickinson. The next book that I have is Cellophane, a novel by Marie Arana. And I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. I feel like this would be more of like a sci-fi fiction type of book, which isn't something that I would knock, but I've never read a lot of science fiction before. So this will be a little bit of a challenge for me and I have to say that I bought this book just based on the cover and the Eiffel Tower because I love Paris. So um, hopefully I'll like it just as much as I like the cover. The next book that I got I'm really excited about is The Kite Runner and I know a lot of uh, booktubers have been raving about this book. I am excited to hold this in my possession for just a dollar. Hey, hello. Hello. You say hello. Look. You say hello. Look. Okay, so I went a little bit crazy when I saw these books, like 
After she told me that the books were only a dollar and I saw these books, I'm like, I need every single one. One of the series that really got me into being an avid reader is the Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events. So I was able to get a couple of the books. She didn't have all of them. Um, and I actually ended up making a mistake because I already have the 10th book in the series. So I'm probably going to try to give this away um, to someone or I might save it just maybe for like a random giveaway because I don't um, need an extra copy of this. Nonetheless, I was able to add more to my collection and getting these books for a dollar I think is such an amazing deal and I'm so happy to have these books. And the books that I ended up getting were the third book which is The Wide Window, The Austria Academy, The Hostile Hospital. And I know I'm going to butcher this title, but this one is a penultimate Perel, and this is the 12th book in the series, which I think there are only 13 or 14 books. I already own three of the books, so now I have four, five, six, I have seven more books. So all I need is I think three or four more books to add to my collection, and I will be complete. So now all I really need to do is figure out how I'm going to get the Harry Potter books from book number two to book number six. So the next couple of books um, that I got are from Sandra Brown. If you saw my last haul, then you know that I have recently come into possession of one of her books and I haven't read it yet so I don't know if I'm going to really like her as an author but I figured that I would give her a try and plus the books are only a dollar so I went kind of crazy. So one of the Sandra Brown books that I have is Lethal. The next one is Standoff and one that was recommended to me by one of my subscribers and one of the people that I subscribed to, Troy, I ended up finding uh, was Rainwater. A kind of a funny story. It took a while for the lady who owned that booth to find this book and eventually when she did because I had already paid for the rest of my books I was just looking for this one. She ended up giving me this book for free because I kind of told her how much I love books she was like it's so rare that I come across people in your own age group that are you know so adamant about book reading so I thought that was really nice of her and so this is um, a dual book I guess that's what you would call it so it's Sandra Brown Rainwater and it's also the girl who chased the moon by Sarah Addison Allen and this is in a large print which I don't really mind I don't care the book's still the same it's the same material so um, yeah, I'm excited to have this in my possession and thank you Troy for the recommendation. So yeah, those are all the books that uh, I bought over the weekend. If you saw a book that you have read before or that looks interesting, comment down below and tell me about it. I'm, I really have a lot of books now that I, that I need to read and I'm kind of glad because I set a goal on Goodreads to read 60 books and I think I pretty much have like those 60 books like down packed right now. And another question. Question. If you have a Goodreads account and you set up your own personal challenge of how many books you want to read in 2014, comment down below and tell me about that also. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys!